Welcome back to the channel. In the last video, I worked on the charger, got the roof exactly where I want it to be. It is perfectly smooth. We don't have any weird spots. I also spot primed both sides. So what I'm gonna do today is block the whole roof back out. Shouldn't have any issues, shouldn't have anything to fix. Then I can pull the roof off as long as Josh comes here today. Today's the day after Christmas, but get the roof removed, get the edges rolled, and then prime the back side of that edge, block it out really quick, and the part of the edge that I roll, and then block all that out, then I should be able to get this thing killed. Actually, I'm going to get this thing cleared by the end of the video. I'm also most likely gonna end up working on the wing, start modifying that or fabricating that. I have the Black Ops Auto Works carbon fiber wing over there, and I'm gonna mold it into the Magnum wing. Like I said before, I'm gonna send this finished wing back to Black Ops Auto Works, and they're gonna start producing them. So they'll send me a wing back for the car, and uh, then the, these wings will actually be available to purchase. So if, uh, if you're interested in one of those, in the next couple of months, six months, there should be a nice Magnum bolt-on wing for these cars since I am utilizing the original Magnum hatch. But let's get to work on this roof and get this thing finally done, make the plug, finish the plug for the mold and get it ready to make the mold. A little trick that you could use is you use the cleaner and you spray it over whatever panel or whatever assembly that you're trying to see if it's straight or if it has any issues, and then it just glosses it out really nice. They have some simulated clear in a spray can, an aerosol can, but this works just as well. And you can just see how nice and smooth that roof finally is. Look at that. So just applied some panel bond to the wing to bond it to the original Magnum wing. So I have some heavy stuff on it to weight it down because the shape is a little bit different. The back shape is actually pretty similar. So if you look up under there, um, it actually goes up against the window pretty well, but then it kind of veers away from it. Away from it. So one thing I'm not exactly sure if I wanna do or not, the rear windshield wiper, I wanna make this compatible with both style. If you delete it like I did, or if you wanna retain the rear windshield wiper, because I do know it seems like a lot of people like them, so I don't know if I could keep that third brake light if I'm going to retain the third or return, retain the uh, rear windshield wiper, but I'll have to kind of figure it out, stick this on a car that has a rear windshield wiper and then go all the way to the top. Maybe I could even opt out and have some people just run smaller windshield wipers. So uh, we'll just have to see what happens. But yeah, once this is bonded, I could pull it off and start bonding it more on the back. Uh, I wanna actually bond it quite a bit more in between here and the wing, um, the original Magnum wing and the newer wing on the bottom. Then I could start shaving some of this down so it flows a lot better with the Magnum wing or with the, the Magnum hatch and the transition. Um, I'm also gonna have to pretty much cut these off maybe. I'm not exactly sure yet. I may actually leave these so they come out, but we'll just have to see also I uh, reprimed the roof. I re-spot primed a few spots. Um, there's actually this little, this little dip somewhere. So I'm gonna have to look into that. I'll block it out right there. If I find it again, I'm most likely just gonna skim it. I just skimmed the other side before I spot primed it uh, because it had a dip on the other side as well. So uh, let's wait for this panel bond to dry, wait for the primer to dry, and then we could mess with some more stuff, which will be cool. But I really do like, how that wing looks on the car. It just, it just completes the rear end. Finished blocking the roof out in 180 grit and it looks so smooth. I said it in the live stream, I'm gonna say it again. It looks so smooth, it actually looks fake. So I can't wait to pull this off. I'm waiting for Josh to come down here. It's pretty early still. And then we can get it pulled off. I can get this edge. Like I said before, I need to roll it just like this all the way down. This is a very long, painstaking process to get stuff ready to make a mold. But once it's there and the mold is made, you, uh, I mean, it's it's worth the, worth the extra effort because like I've said, I've, I keep saying it, whatever you leave in the first part is gonna show up in the mold and then gonna show up in the carbon fiber panel. So just uh, let's get this thing off once Josh gets here.
roof is now ready after spending pretty much, it seems like forever working on it. The first one didn't come out that great. So this is the second revision and I just finished rolling the edges. So what I'm gonna do now is spray that with some primer, get that edge all nice and primed. And then later I'll come back 180 and then I could clear the roof. I'm also gonna clear that FC fan shroud that I'm gonna make a mold of as well. So hopefully we don't have any issues and hopefully I think she's gonna be smooth. So I guess we'll see once there's some clear on it. So just finished getting the roof 100% ready to clear. So all I'm doing is clearing over the primer. I don't need to paint it a color or anything like that. And I think I have it sanded at 180. I should be able to make the mold fast enough before they're shrink back. So I plan on buffing this thing, cutting and buffing this thing tomorrow after the clear dries. And then I can go directly the next day, lay the mold on the top. And uh, pretty much by the time that the mold or the, the gel coat is cured, there won't be any chance for the, uh, the clear on the roof to actually shrink back. So I should be okay. But uh, yeah, I'm really happy with how the roof has come out. It has taken a lot of work, but let's get this. I'm gonna get the floor wet down. Actually, I'm probably gonna sweep out most of this stuff and uh, then I'll wet the floor down. I'll cover this up with some plastic, set the time lapse up and then clear this and clear the FC fan shroud. So Almost looks like it's invisible. There's a door and there's a reflection. Hell yeah, boys. That's exactly how I wanted it to come out. So I didn't put any base down. I didn't seal it or anything like that. Just cleared it. What's gonna happen tomorrow is I'm gonna come down, get the car ready. So I need to mask this off like I had it before. But unlike I had it masked off before, I need to pretty much cover the whole car. So what I'm gonna do is blow this thing out, vacuum a bunch of the sanding dust and everything in the body filler. When uh, people think there's a lot of body filler on cars, that's probably like an inch thick. So most of all of that stuff got sanded off. I mean, the first roof, it had, it had a lot of body filler on it, but this one probably doesn't have that much on it. So what, once that's done, once I have it all you know, cleaned out, taped off, ready to go, I'll, buff the roof, cut and buff the roof, then set it back on. And then I'll use some plastazine to pretty much fill in this gap. And I'll do the same thing with the tape that I did before where I used the mold release on it. So then I could have this as a flange. I'll have to put a piece of sign board along this edge so I could have a flange there. And then I need to do something similar to the back. I need to pull the hatch off of it just so I could get to everything when I'm spraying the gel coat. And, uh, you know, I really want to get this mold made quick. So it's not just dragging on and on. I mean, it's already been dragging on for so long, but I'm just glad that the roof is in the stage that it is because it looks really, really good. I can't wait till the car is a color and looks that good. So that's why it's taking this long to do all the body work and do all that stuff. I know a lot of people have been 
nagging me about it. I think a lot of people on my channel haven't been nagging me because they like the outcome and they like what's going on and they like the effort that I'm putting into making the car really nice and straight because a lot of the cars that you do see in videos and stuff, they're, they're not. So um, making a car look good in a video is pretty easy. I could have not body work this whole thing and painted it and it would have looked great in videos. So that being said, we'll get this thing cleaned out tomorrow, ready to go, get the roof ready to go, get everything ready because I'm most likely gonna try to get the mold made Wednesday or Thursday. So, or the, the main mold, the top piece, then I have to pull it and make the flanges on the back and stuff like that. So gonna try to get the mold made Thursday or start the mold process Thursday, then have it done Friday, and then possibly make a carbon fiber panel over the weekend. We'll see where I'm, you know, where, where it's going with that and everything, but I'm just really happy that the, the roof is finally, the bodywork fit is, is finally done with it because it was just, I came here every day and worked on it and it was just agonizing. So now that that's done, we're one step closer. I really like how I did the, uh, I rolled the edges because when it has panel bond in there and it, it's just all glued on and everything, it's just gonna look factory. It, uh, it just really flows with that body line going to the hatch. But I'm gonna end the video here. If you like these videos, make sure to click the subscribe button, throw a thumbs up, throw a comment below. As always, see you guys next time. Bye.